Millions of Americans will struggle to get through today, staying up late to watch football. Maybe, maybe you hosted some friends and family over yesterday. It's the sort of get together that can take weeks worth of prep, invitations to the menu. All right, Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, here to talk football and retirement today. And Daryl's one of the area's leading financial advisors, and he joins us every Monday to help us plan for retirement. Good morning, Daryl. Good morning. Are how you, you still, guys doing? You're reading up on the, the game from last night? <laughs> there it is. Night? That's an awesome <laughs> picture, isn't it? you ever need to it? know about that how good right a football there. team can be right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tom Pretty Brady hoisting awesome. the trophy. And we were talking about this new record. Record. commercial break. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, they've been there before. They've done it. It's hard to bet against a championship team like that. Well, as a matter of fact, that's what was said in my living room right before we started out. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not betting against these guys, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and you would have bet against them, you know, in the yeah. At, at halftime, sure. you know, mm -hmm. for right. sure. And uh, so with a 99% probability of, of failure, they came back and won. Isn't that so, crazy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We're talking about checklists today. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for the connection between football and retirement. Well, and I feel like that is the thread. Here isn't it is. It? Yeah. Here it is. Here's my checklist. This is, what, this is a checklist <laughs> around our house right uh -huh. here. What's on it? At now, the if I'm house. in charge of food, here's uh -huh. the thing. I like I'm going to have ribs. Okay. Okay. Meatballs, wings, smokies, and you know how how I am about my intake. Right, right. Yeah, right. I have my low carb, low carb low tortillas. tortillas. That's funny. They, they I like. Exist. There's a lot of protein <laughs> on that list, oh, yeah. so then we get to the start. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so anyway, what is the so check you your checklist? What is the checklist for retirement? I mean, people nearing that age of retirement, mm -hmm. what things do they need to think about? A lot of things need to be gone over. We do have our checklist uh, there at the office, and we brought a few mm -hmm. in just for today mm -hmm. uh, to discuss. Number one, if you're getting ready to retire, you're three or four years out, you're five, seven years out, and we start seeing people at my office around, you know, 55, 58 and beyond. Our average client is about 62, you know, when we meet them, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we're getting pretty close to retirement typically. But most people that come into the office know that they don't have an income plan. Repeatedly, we have people come into the office saying, listen, I'm listening to the radio show. I'm listening to you on Morning Blend. No, we don't have an income plan. I got a pile of stuff. I've done really well at saving. And we have a lot of people in Omaha that have done very, very well at saving. But they know that they need to move into this income generating phase. There's an accumulation phase and there's eventually a decumulation phase, mm -hmm. et cetera, and this escapes most people. Listen, if you've already won the game, let's say you're a viewer out there and you know that, hey, I've, I've done what I was supposed to do, I saved a bunch of money, I, we feel like we're in good shape, and we can do the math and determine that you do have plenty of money and let's structure an income plan. A lot of people are surprised at just what you can do mm -hmm. uh, with, with a pile of, of money uh, over 25 years. That's a really interesting uh, uh, set of calculations. But if you've won the game, why, wouldn't you consider insuring that income? Wouldn't you consider at least a portion of your retirement income have no possibility of decline, mm -hmm. right? right? And then, so, so you should have that as a portion of your income plan. And then, of course, we want to have some things that are percolating. So, a balanced plan. Mm -hmm. uh, number two on the list was what? Social Security, uh, Social Security, Social Security maximization. Social Security maximization. Listen, you can still do it. Yes, on April 31st of last year, um, uh, the Fed changed a lot of Social Security rules. That doesn't mean that you there, that you can't still leave. $100,000 on the table if you handle your Social Security wrong. It should be integrated into your, so, into your retirement income plan. And last is a, is a big one uh, yeah. for today is life insurance. The big misnomer uh, in um, uh, the financial world is the idea that when you go, go into retirement, okay, well, I wouldn't need any insurance then because the kids are grown and the mortgage is paid. Mm -hmm. Listen, <clears throat> That's wrong. Uh, here's the thing. Let's say a couple is retiring and they look great on paper, Mike, uh, Mary, they look great on paper as long as all the incomes are coming in, right? You got a couple of socias, mm -hmm. a pension maybe, and then some, uh, some uh, dividend and interest, et cetera, some retirement income some, uh, uh, from your savings. But what happens if we just click a button and, and one of those incomes goes away? What happens if one of those social securities goes away? by way of someone passing away. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So if that were a $20,000 income, right, that's a couple hundred thousand dollars over 10 years yeah. or $400,000 over the next 20 years. And we see that. We work with retirees all day mm -hmm. long and we know that eventually we're going to get a phone call. It's just, it's just life, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. so um, I have some terrible news. What am I supposed to do now? Well, we should have already built a contingency plan in for that. But the key, just as we have, you know, the checklist just for, uh, uh, just for Super Bowl, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people spend more time doing this yeah. than they do a no, checklist, right, you know, yeah. and checking their checklist right. for retirement. There's about seven key items on our checklist mm -hmm. at the office. So if you want to call and get a, uh, you know, get get one of those and and uh, get started on on putting together. I just an income recommend. Plan. 
recommended you to a neighbor uh, mm. last week. We were talking. Her husband is getting ready to retire from mm -hmm. Kiwit, and mm. you know, I mean, you understand the structure of some of these companies and folks that have been with them for decades. And like, there's this all trying to figure out. We've done okay, but mm -hmm. now we're transitioning to this next phase, and it's right. kind of scary. If you are in that now, retirement yeah. red zone, and Daryl defines that as five to seven years from retirement, you'll want his full retirement checklist. So grab a pen and write down this number. It's 402-932-2141. And Daryl's team will send that checklist out to you right away. And after you get it, if you need some help working through this mm -hmm. thing, in each one of those items, you can set up a complimentary consultation with the team at D. Bryant Retirement awesome. Strategies. So Daryl, we only went through three of those items, but mm -hmm. you said there are about six on the list. It is important to look, or seven, it is important to look at all of them, not just this handful. Oh, no question about it. These are very, very key um, uh, components of your retirement. And you may be a, a viewer out there and you're on, you've are on. you already retired and you wonder if things can still be done to shore up your retirement. Have I made some mistakes? Uh -huh. What should I do now that I've seen my market values recover? Yeah, there are still same things that you can do. Uh, we have plenty of, uh, today I'm sure we'll have, you know, uh, one or two folks that are 70, 72 coming in. Mm -hmm. And even our clients, we're still continuing to fine tune. So um, anytime you're 55 or older, is a good time to call the office. And thank you for the mm -hmm. referral. We have people yeah. coming in all the way from Missouri, I think, mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really a, it's a problem. Well, you know? saving for retirement is a little bit different than actually uh, putting a plan into place when yeah. you're nearing retirement. And again, that number to call is 402-932-932. 2141 receive a retirement uh, checklist today to help you plan for that successful retirement. And head to dbryantretirementstrategies.com for more information. Thank you, Daryl. All right. Thank, yeah. Thank you. Have a great week. game last night, huh? People are still talking about it. Heck of a game. All yeah. day, all week. Oh, we'll be all analyzing week. that. And the overtime the that I missed. That that, I did see that, that cash at the end of the Incredible. fourth quarter. Yeah. Incredible. Thanks, Thank Carl. you, Daryl. Yeah.